We're just going to lift these hoops up and over and put them aside for now. We'll work on our hips a little bit. <clears throat> so putting the soles of your feet together to the cobbler or butterfly position, letting your legs open and close here, keeping a nice straight back, head crowning to, towards the ceiling. And then letting them open and hold that position. Releasing that and taking your, uh, extending the left leg out if that's comfortable for you, and taking your uh, left hand with your right foot and doing some hip circles with that right leg in each direction. And then switching if you did about five with each, that's good. direction. And coming back to the mat, legs extended in front of you. We're going to, um, oh, we'll do this first. Let the legs extend in front. Feet are flexed. Do a reach up with both hands. Bend at the waist, down fingers towards your toes. And doing a little bit of side movement from side to side for that lower back for a nice good stretch. And from here, positioning yourself in the tabletop position after you release that staff flow. So coming around to tabletop. In our tabletop position, fingers are spread wide, knees are about hip distance apart. You should look back and not be able to see your toes. And we're going to do our cat and cows. So we'll start with the cow. When you inhale, let your belly drop and your gaze looks up. As you exhale, pull that navel into your spine and let your back arch up. Inhale, belly drops, gaze looks up. Exhale. Pull that navel into your spine, spine arches up. And letting yourself come back to tabletop position. And give yourself a little wag of the tail here. <clears throat> and do a little bit of a spinal balance. So when you're ready, let's put your right arm and your right hand out in front of you. Extend that left leg back, foot is flexed, gaze looks ahead. And bring that back to center. Left hand extends, right leg goes back, foot is flexed. Gaze looks ahead. Let's come back to tabletop. And do just a little bit of a child's pose here. Toes come together. We let ourselves sit back and stretch out ahead of us. Let your uh, right hand come over to the right corner of the mat 
and move your left hand on top and let yourself stretch into that curve. Taking a deep breath in and out. Coming back to the straight ahead child's pose. One moment here. Moving that left hand over to the left corner of the mat. And right hand goes on top. Two more breaths here. And letting yourself come back to the center child's pose. One breath here. And coming back to tabletop. We're going to do our kickstand here of the right foot. And open up with the right hand. Stretching that right hand back for a good heart opener. Remember to smile. Taking that breath in. And letting yourself come back down and doing the same on the opposite side. Right knee comes, left kickstand goes out, and open up. Two more breaths here. tabletop position. From tabletop, we're going to tuck our toes and we're going to push up to down dog. Being strong in down dog and letting our feet walk forward to meet our hands into a forward hold. Head hangs heavy. Shaking it yes, shaking it no and slowly coming up. We're going to hang on together here. Take a moment, hands at heart center. Building our energy or our prana. Taking a deep breath in, feeling the expansion of our chest as we do. Taking a moment to take that left foot back, preparing for a warrior flow. The right left foot is at a right angle. The right knee is bent. Hands come to hips. Hips are facing forward. And when you're ready, hands free. Adjusting that foot so it's parallel with the back of the mat. Letting those hands float up into warrior two. Looking out over that right hand. Being strong. Turning that right hand up, so thumbs up. You have each choice of whether you want that left hand to be at your back on your thigh and raise that right hand to the sky, gaze looks up. And returning to warrior two. Bringing hands to heart center. Feet come together. We take just a moment again. And we step that right foot back with the right angle. The left leg is facing forward. 
Hips are forward, hands to heart center. And when we're ready, arms go up. Shift of that foot, turn it so it's parallel with the mat, and let those arms float up, looking out over our left fingers for warrior two. Thumb comes up. Yogi's choice as to whether the hand goes to the back or on the thigh. Raise your hand, and your gaze looks skyward. breath here. Letting those hands come back and stepping together. I'm going to ask Fred come, to come forward. He's going to do two more uh, variations here. Dixie did an excellent job getting us prepared for this. To transition into triangle pose. So, to get there, we're going to first start out in where to. So, you'll take your left foot, extend the toes out toward clearing your mat, knee slightly bent, your back leg out at a 90 degree angle to the back of the mat, raise his hands up. You feel that lightness in the shoulder. You should not feel stiffness in your shoulders. So, when you're ready, Stiffen that front leg. Gradually take your left hand down toward your left ankle. And the right hand up over your head. And if you have neck issues, you should not look up toward your hand. You should probably look down at the floor, look straight ahead. And if you don't have neck issues, you can look up at that right hand. Okay. And then when you're ready, gradually come back up to warrior two. To go to the opposite side, we're merely going to shift our left foot so it points to the opposite side of the mat. And our right foot actually. Left foot will be a 90 degree angle. Again, feel that softness in your shoulders. And when you're ready, gradually straighten that front leg. See the right hand run down to your right foot. Again, you can either look up toward that left hand, you can look straight out in front of you, or down at the mat. Okay, there's another way we can transition to a different pose here. And what I'm going to have you do now is turn both feet toward the side of the mat. And from this pose, you can take your left hand behind your back, reach your right hand over to your left ankle. And either again look down toward the mat, look out in front of you, or look up the left hand side. Again, come back up to the starfish position. We'll do the other side, same way. So you'll take your left hand over to your right ankle, not the ground behind. Right hand across the back of your back, or you can have that right hand up in the air if you want. Either way, whatever's comfortable for you. Feel that stretch in your calves, in your abs. Remember to breathe. And then when you're ready, Come back up into starfish position. Okay, different variation of triangle. Thank you, Fred. Okay, well, we're going to come to mountain pose again. Hands are here for strong and mountain pose. We're going to raise them up. We're going to start to cool down. We'll let ourselves go back a little bit.
maybe some of you have going to the mountains on your love to do list. Coming back to center, doing a little bend to the right. center, and letting your hands come together in prayer hands. Take it just a moment. We're going to take a turn on our mat, prepare for down dog. So in doing that, we're going to take a forward fold. Head hangs heavy once again. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Put your hands out in front of you and step back to your down dog. Give me a good stretch here. Take your left foot over to your right for a little bit of a twist. Maybe you can put your hand up. Come back down. Stepping back over. And doing the same on the other side. Opening that hand up. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Coming back. Using some of that energy we stored in our God-made batteries to come forward and hold in a plank for five, four, three, two, one. Letting your knees come down. Letting your toes come together into a child's pose. Doing a little transition here to come into a seated position on the mat. Feet are flat. Preparing for one of my favorite ones, getting rid of anger or frustrations or just letting go. It's our tortoise. So you're sitting down, feet are on the floor, knees are bent. You bring that right hand up. Bring it down and around to that right ankle. Same thing with the left hand. Bring it up. Slip it in there. And just sit and ground here, just for a moment. Thinking about if there's anything you have to let go for the day. Letting some negative things go. <clears throat> Angers and frustrations of maybe some things that you need to do today that you're not looking forward to but knowing that there are five things that you have in your hand that you can do to balance out your day. Staying strong, sitting up. Two more breaths here. And down. Another breath in. And out. And letting go of the ankles. And while we're right here, we might as well loosen those hips up again. Soles come together in the butterfly position. But this time, after we've loosened them up, let's take our hands down with our toes and see if you can bend forward a little bit. yourself come out of that and lying down on your mat as we prepare for savasana and a few more cool hands. So if you need to grab a blanket or a pillow or if you need to darken the room where you are, please take a moment to do that. Remember if you need a drink, please take time to do that as well and let yourself lie back. I'm going to keep my knees bent because we're going to be pulling the knees into the chest when you're ready and letting them go from side to side here. <clears throat> Putting arms out by your side. And letting those knees fall to your right. While your head turns toward the left. 
You can keep your eyes closed if that feels good and you feel safe doing that. And then yourself relax. Knowing that you've been connected with ways to store energy from nature. Just a few more breaths here. Returning those knees to center and pulling them into your chest again. Letting them fall over to the left. As your gaze or your head looks over to your right, eyes closed if that's your choice. One more breath. Letting yourself come back to the center of the mat. Crossing your uh, feet at your heels and reaching up, grabbing those feet, doing your little pretzel, pretzel baby, and let yourself rock from side to side. And then Switching that position, putting the other foot on top. Okay. And letting yourself get comfortable for this final time of Savasana. Letting your legs come down. Letting yourself melt into that mat. Checking in with yourself. How do your eyes feel? Do they feel that they need a rest? What about your jawline? Your neck? Your shoulders? The arms themselves? Hips, back, spine, your knees? Give them all that little adjustment that they need. And let yourself rest. Remembering that rest is a time for the nervous system to rejuvenate and cells to build back up again. And knowing that as we age, which we're all aging, that time and process slows down. So we need to do all we can in positive ways to help that along. And letting yourself rest.
Letting yourself turn to one side or the other into the position of a dreaming child. back up into the a position of an easy seated position. Taking a breath in together. We breathe in, hands come and meet together. As we exhale, let's bring our hands to heart center. And I would like to share with you a passage from Romans chapter 1 verse 20. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made, so that we are without excuse. And dear Lord, I pray that each of us can find our energy through your word and through your creation. And together we say, um, so thank you for joining us today, for finding a way to connect energy through nature. And remember to see if you can get yourself a hula hoop for next week. Uh, so we'll be doing more with that. And I promise it's fun. And I promise you'll feel a little different when we're using the hula hoops. So again, I thank Glenn Gilbert, Aaron Porter, my husband Fred, and I thank all of you for joining us. So until next time, I'll say bye-bye.